What up, though? It's your boy TMP with TMP TV. We rocking with Tim Millie. What's the deal, Tim Millie? Yo, what's the word? Where you from, bro? Linwood F. Where at exactly? Linwood, climb up. You know. Okay then. Area. Okay then. I see you got your jewels on. I see CMB. What's that over there? CMB, TMG. Okay, TMG. What that mean, bro? What CMB, TMG mean? CMB mean climb out money boys. Okay. And TMG mean Taylor Made Gang. Okay. It's like two blocks type shit, you know. Okay, you got clicked up as one. Yeah. Okay, it's then. It's a family thing for real, for real. All right, I see dog got the money over there next to you. No, yeah. yeah, you see, he's fixing his bands over there. <clears throat> so tell me about you, bro. So young nigga, man. Trying to make it out for, you know. To come up, man. How long you been doing music? For like a year now. Okay, then. Yeah. So what's your plans with the music? Really make as far as I can, man. You know, only time will tell. Okay. So we're going to backtrack from the future. We're going to go to the past a little bit. So you from Claremont. Yeah. Okay. So tell me how it was growing up, man. It wasn't really as hard. Like, I really had everything I needed for real. Like, it wasn't, I ain't really go through it like that. But I did have some ups and downs type shit. Where I needed some shit, you know. Like, we'll talk about the ups. The ups, man. It's, okay, it's a blessing. For real, for real. It's okay. A blessing, well, tell me about the bad times, bro. Man, bad times, all kinds of shit. Lights cut off, hot water turned cold, all kind of crazy shit. All right, so you had everything you need, wanted. Well, I'm sorry, needed, but not wanted. Yeah, like I had everything I needed. Mama and pops made sure I was straight going to school and shit. Feel me? I ain't really need for nothing. Feel me? Okay, then. So who next to you right now? I got my nigga, my little brother, Mari. Linwood Mari, you know. And sis, Nay. You know, Linwood Nay. Linwood shit. All right. And they do music, too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He do me. I rap with him type shit. She really just not starting to get the feel for real, you know. Okay. But he rap. She getting turned. Yeah, yeah we gonna turn it up. Man. This time we got something coming. All right. So what about let's talk about school, man. What kind of student are you, man? You a good student. You decent. You go to school, man. You skip it. What you doing, man? Man, listen here. I'm really a good kid for real. Like, I don't really like school. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't like that shit at all. Like, okay. I'm just keep it a honey mm-hmm. with you. I don't like that shit. Like, but it is what it is. You know, like, I don't really like that shit, though. Like, I, I just don't like it. Like, if, it, if I had a choice to not go, like, I won't go. Like, I ain't dumb, though. I'm smart as hell. Like, for real. So school, like, boring to you? Yeah, it's just boring. It's just, it don't teach me what I need to do. Like, I know how to count. I know how to read. Comprehend all that shit. I'm not dumb. I just don't like school type shit. You know. Okay. Don't like that shit. So you want to go to college? No nah, hell no. Nah. Nah, nah, fuck that. <laughs> all right. Man, I don't like that shit. Yeah. Motherfuckers probably might like. Oh, he dumb. He don't. He don't know nothing. Like I'm smart as hell for real, bro. I just make dumb choices sometimes. I just don't like school. That's nah, just life, man. Everybody ain't meant for college though. You know what I'm saying? The college life ain't for everybody. I ain't even meant for high school. <laughs> 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 Swear, bro. Man, I don't like it. So, what's your goals, bro? My goal is to really become like on a different type of level, type with this rap shit. Like, that's really what I want to do. Like, it's crazy because I ain't even, I ain't got no backup plan, but that's how bad I really want this shit to pop. Like, I ain't got no backup plan. Okay. I'm just gonna rap until I can't no more, type shit. Okay. So, so when you say different level, like. Give me an example of what level. Like, we talking about, like, Jay-Z level. We talking about, like, little Baby level. We talking about no, Drake level. No, what I level mean, you talking about? You got to get to that stage first. Like, I'm talking about level, nigga, like, Master P type shit. Eminem type shit. You feel me? Like, okay. Some, That's still like Jay-Z some shit. Some real legends. Yeah, Jay-Z. Type yeah. Shit. Some real legends. Like, up there with them type shit. Okay. Okay. So, what's the plans for the summer, man? Oh, we finna turn up, most definitely. Finna turn up. 
Okay. A whole bunch of videos. The album coming soon. I gotta, I gotta work on that. It's coming soon though. You got, you got a name for it? Yeah, it's coming for sure. What's the name of it? I don't know. That's why I said it's coming. I gotta get my mind right. I gotta see what I really want to do. Like, but the album coming for sure. All right, coming heat. Yeah. I see you dropped a few videos, man. So, uh, so you getting your videos popping? You doing your music, your studio time? You trying to pursue music? You know what I'm saying? What's your short term goal next to the album? Next to the album. Shit, I'm after the album. I'm really like I ain't really been doing no features type shit. So I'm gonna try to do a couple features after the album type shit. Like it really ain't gonna be nobody on the album with me for real. Mm. But a couple people type shit, you know. Like okay. But, but I might drop a deluxe or some shit like a month after or some shit like that. Okay, so your first one you trying to do it like all you for real? Yeah. Like, or I people you know people. in house? Man. Yeah, I want them to know me type shit. Yeah. Okay. Now as far as like the music, you working with any t different producers or you working with the Tube right now? What you doing? Shit. Rocking with you, nigga. <laughs> you know, TMP. I feel that. You know, you know, it's a movement for real, man. You know. Man. Yeah. Trying to make something happen, man. Trying to turn nothing into something, you know. All right. So tell me what a day is in 10 Millie shoes. Man. Typical day. Typical day. You wake up, try to find some money, get some money for sure. Like a good way, though, type shit, you know. Like hustle for it, like do something positive to get it, type shit. You know? I feel you. Cause you got to get money to do anything. For real, for real. You got to get money to rap. You got to get money. It's yeah. the number one rule. Get the money first. Do what you want with the money. You know? That's facts. Yeah, it's hard, man. You got to, this music is grind, man. You got to get the money. You got to stack the money. You got to spend the money on promo. All that, man. It's okay. definitely a grind, man. Sometimes you like, well, I don't even know why I'm doing it, but you love it too much, you know? Yeah. Got to do what you got to do. I feel that. Who started CMB, TMG? CMB, TMG. My nigga Tay started CMB. You feel me? Like it's really like a family thing. You feel me? My nigga Tay. Uh, that shit was. I was. I was little. I was little. Like it's been going on for a minute. I was little. So my nigga Tay, O, Big Bro, you feel me? A whole lot of my hoods, Lil Show. They really started that shit as I'm growing up, and then we just we. They little brothers and sons and shit, so we just picked up, you feel me? And it's a family thing. I told you it's a block type shit, so. You born into it. Block. Yeah, born into it, basically. And TMG, okay. that's really right. the next block type shit. I really came up with TMG, you feel me? Like, I put that little together type shit, but it's all one big family for real. Two blocks, neighborhood, it's all one family for real. All right. I see about, about five, six chains. I mean, you like jewelry? Yeah, I love jewelry, man. Got a... Keep keep shining, you know. So what do you love, man? Eh? As far as what, like, like just, out of life, out not of like life. not like your mama. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> what you love? I love like coming outside, experiencing life type shit and with my little brothers and shit, cousins. Just enjoying life type shit, getting the rap, coming in the studio, you feel me? Shit like that, like Crazy. being outside. No, I feel you. So, what's Ten Milli about, man? man? Before you answer that, how you come up with the name Ten Milli? Ten Milli. See, I really go by Mills type shit. A lot of people know that, but Ten Milli, that's my big brother. Like he, that's his shit. I don't know where he came up with that shit from. That's just my big brother, you know, my idol. So, I just really got it from him. I got Mills from him for real. I'm, I'm love Mills for real. It's just. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers just really call me Mills type shit. You know, they don't call me Lil Mills. But I got that shit from him. Okay. You feel me? So, Lil Mills, you feel me? Long live big bro. So, you had a good relationship with your brother? Yeah, most definitely. Okay, then. Like no other. That's what's up. Most what's definitely. We're going to take a break. <laughs> what up, though? We back with your boy, Tim Millie. What's yeah. good, Millie? Yo, story gang. So you got sitting next to you now, bro? My nigga CNB Tay, big bro, you know. All right. Little Will Mari. Well, we got Mari. So tell me about Tay, man. My nigga Tay, you know, he rap too, for real, for real. He just don't be taking that shit serious as he should, for real, you know. So y'all related? Yeah, 
My cousin, for real. Your cousin? Yeah, big oh. bro, you know. So he, like, raised you? Yeah. Taught you what you know? Type shit, you know. Yeah. Okay, then. Tell me what it was like growing up, man, uh, with Tay and big bro and everything like that. Man, it wasn't really as hard, for real, but it's shit they done been through that I ain't trying to go through, for real, type shit, and they ain't going to let me go through that. Like what? All kind of gun violence and shit like that, you know, shit like that, you know, like all type of shit. Okay, so street shit. Yeah. So, all right, so you ain't fucking with the street shit, basically. Yeah, all that getting locked up and shit. I ain't trying to go all, do all that shit. All right, pass the mic to tape real quick. State your name, gangster. Big Tay, CMB, y'all know what it is with it. So you the originator, right? Yeah, for sure. Okay then. So, little bro basically say he trying to uh, basically do the opposite of what you doing. So you showing him to do the opposite, trying to give him some positivity in life and shit, right? Yeah, but the only thing about it, you know what I'm saying, just like with my kids, you know what I'm saying, I'ma show them, mm. I ain't gonna hide nothing from them. Right. You know what I'm saying, cause a motherfucker can tell you anything. Right. But if a motherfucker see something yeah. and a nigga point it out, like, you see that? That ain't what the fuck you supposed to do. Yeah. Or yeah. try to, you know what I'm saying, show them to think outside the box and just think, it's, just think it one way. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. Yeah. Because a motherfucker don't think like that all the time because a situation can happen and a motherfucker won't even notice that they didn't just down there put themselves in a fucked up position. You feel what I'm saying? Like a nigga say something or just, matter of fact, friends just say, we going somewhere, right? Mm-hmm. And we go, wherever we going, just say it's some hoes. We go to some hoes house, we go in that bitch. It's a thousand niggas in this bitch already. You know what I'm saying? Like they having a party or something. We come in, you know what I'm saying? Now off dribble, it's all type of different motherfucking sets of niggas in this bitch. So you already know off bail, it's gonna be some tension in that bitch. Right. Nah. Mm, how can I put it? Like, mm, but a bitch. Just okay. say, one of the motherfuckers we go into the party with fuck with one of the hoes, right? Get close to the mic. He fuck with one of the hoes or whatever. Mm. Now we get in this bitch. Niggas not knowing who is who or who fuck with who. You feel what I'm saying? But, you might unconsciously, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know you fucking with her, go over there, kick it with her. You might mm-hmm. grab on her, all types of shit. Now a nigga didn't got mad as hell and right. got jealous. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Not even knowing it's two, three more niggas in here on the same shit. Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So now nah, it's a whole. Mo- I'm talking about this shit that just went crazy. Motherfuckers ain't got in all type of shit, and all you had to do is just play it smooth. Right. Everybody had to know you was fucking her. Right. Everybody had to know we came here for her. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But niggas do that. Try to put yourself on blast or try to be tough in guy. the spotlight. Man. Not even the tough guy. Just try to make it seem like, oh, yeah, nigga, this is me. You ain't got to do that all the time. You do that shit, that's when niggas get on your ass. I had to learn that shit. The, the, and it wasn't even like the hard way. Because I ain't never been a nigga that's going to start something. Because I don't even like confrontation. Mm-hmm. I don't even like arguing. Because mm-hmm. Uh, motherfucker get to a certain level, I'm ready to fight. So, I mean, I already know what's gonna come after that. So, I just try not to even argue or do none of that shit. And the shit I'll be been through, I just see the shit with how they grow up or just certain shit that be going on. Right. And see, now they got the internet. Yeah. So, not everybody really got a pride issue. Right. Everybody rich, everybody doing this, everybody doing that. Everybody really the same on the internet, too. Exactly. You know, back in the day, everybody used to be kind of, you had this type of nigga, that type of nigga, yeah, this style. Yeah, think, we didn't have that shit growing I, up. I know, that's what I'm saying. I, if we had Instagram, Facebook, any of that shit when I was growing up, going to high school. It'd have been different. It'd have been crazy, for real, for real. What? It'd been crazy. But we about the same age, so I'm, I'm already here. That shit you know what I'm saying? crazy, bro. But back in the day, you could look at a nigga and tell where he was from. That's my point. Yeah. And you could tell what a motherfucker was doing. Because back then, nigga... 
everybody like like how right now they wasn't making all that they was making they was you know what i'm saying making fake shit. but like right now you would never know you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying nigga be out here ah oh, nigga i'm this this and that back then you knew a nigga have on some iceberg kooji some shit like that yeah. and you could tell what was fake and what wasn't Instantly. you know what i'm saying because the motherfucker iceberg shirt nigga, my shit look like the real disney mickey you got one look like your little sister drew that nigga together. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? For real. You know, I ain't before they time. Nah, though. they didn't got cold with it, bro. Like, it, man, half of these hoes out here, man, bags be fake as hell. But motherfuckers be so good at making them, and then niggas be acting like they swiping and they boosting. They don't mm-hmm. even know these niggas going, grabbing these bitches and selling them like they real. Facts. And just because a nigga got his fronts up, they gonna think that. You gonna think it, yeah. You don't. He got the it plug, is. and it ain't even the plug. Nigga, you can have uh, me. And you can have the same motherfucker work. You walking, nigga, and I'm in a motherfucking in a jag or something. A, and your price cheaper. A nigga gonna come fuck with me just cause of that jag. Mm-hmm. Before they come fuck with you and don't even know, they'll be better off fucking with you than me because I'm taxing them and you ain't. Right. But niggas don't look at it like that. Niggas just looking at it like, dog, that nigga getting money. I'm trying to be like that nigga. You don't mm-hmm. know what that nigga going through. And the nigga might be telling. Nine right. times out of ten, he is. Yeah. And now you through. Like you said, it's your fronts, though. Yeah. Yeah. For it's real. how it's the image. You know what I'm saying? It's how it look. You know how I many niggas out here whack as hell rapping? But just because a nigga been hustled, got some money, or got a nigga putting money behind them, they, look, they out there and they ass. True. That's how that shit be, bro. But it wasn't like that back then. Back then, nigga, you had to. If a nigga was saying they was doing this and that, a nigga gonna put you to the test. That's true too. But not oh, everybody yeah. doing it. it. Everybody. Everybody. And they telling. These the most gangsters telling this niggas I ever seen in my life. A nigga pop you and go tell on you, so you won't get on him. That's true. And niggas telling on theyself at like an all time high. At an all time high. That phone, man, it's the best invention, but the worst invention. You know what I'm saying? Internet, I'd say, not the phone. Yeah, but. I was about to say. For sure, the internet. So, you basically just trying to give him a, uh, basically give him a game. You yeah. know what I'm saying? In different scenarios and what, what yeah. to look for. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Which is a lot of stuff people didn't get when you was younger. Hell no. I yeah. ain't have a big homie for real. You know what I'm saying? I had, for real, for real shit, I was the oldest out of all the grandkids. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? My grandma and grandkids, I'm the oldest. I, my brothers and sisters, I'm the oldest. Mm-hmm. So it was like, I felt like before I let them feel some type of way or uh, like be hurt, I try to put it on your shoulder. Ma- yeah, but and make it and make it to them like it ain't shit. Right. But in all in all reality that shit fucking with me though. You know what I'm saying? But that's how that shit be though. When you don't, when you wanna protect some motherfucker and you don't want nobody to feel what you feel. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah, that's facts. So you said earlier you've been through all kind of stuff in the streets, so give me some details on what you mean by that. Like man, I've been shot six times. Shit, I just man, uh, let me see. First time I got shot was in uh, April of 2000. I ain't even gonna get into all that, but I ended up getting shot then. But then the second time was 2012, February. Mm. Niggas I grew up with, motherfucker was really my right hand man. First nigga I ever smoked a blunt with, did a lot of shit with, you feel me? Mm. Nigga shot the van up, hit my shit over 75 times. But that was that. Motherfuckers were trying to say I was telling and shit because I was, they didn't know who was all in the van. Mm-hmm. And once everything came out, you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers wanted to try to act like, oh, damn, nigga, I, I knew this. No, nah, stay right where you was at. Like, nigga, I knew what the fuck I signed up for when I got in it. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? So, nigga, I'm not about to tell on you. I never was raised like that you feel what i'm saying and my daddy did seven and a half years Mm -hmm. so it wasn't instilled in me by him you know what i'm saying it was just that 
My grandma, for real. My grandma, mama, granddaddy, they weren't playing that shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, you gonna come tell? Yeah, all right. And I'm gonna beat your ass, too. This shit end up coming out. Motherfuckers really wanted to try to, even the motherfuckers that they was trying to say I was telling on family, you know what I'm saying, went from, oh, this whole ass nigga to, oh, damn, man, you a real nigga, woo, woo, woo. Yeah, I'm gonna show you how real I am, because I'm fucking you up now. For sure. I feel that. And I know you, and then the fucked up part about it, he a snitch for real. Mm. Got his name all in black and white. This nigga, he told on me at court, matter of fact. The first time I had to go in there, when they, I didn't even know how the shit, the process went. You know what I'm saying? I'm mm. in the audience. They come out, they come out there and get me like, no, you gotta come back here. So they did come you back like there the, for what? the Lino Brown shit. Yeah, I done yeah. walked back there. As I'm walking ass back there, he hop up. Ass fuck. Man, that nigga went out there, was calling niggas and shit. I tried to catch him when I got out. When I got off the uh, stands, when they had me go up there and shit, they only really asked me two questions. Mm -hmm. they asked me what happened, you know what I'm saying? Did I get shot? I'm like, yeah. And then they asked me, you know what I'm saying, who did it? I, said, I don't know. Mm -hmm. They're like, so who is uh, such and such right here? I'm like, shit, that's my man's. I grew up with it. Right. They're like, oh yeah, yeah. They're like, so why do we have him here? I'm like, shit, I don't know. Y'all yeah. got me here. I don't know why you're here. And that was the, what you call it? That wasn't, that's the prosecutor in them. Mm -hmm. So they was mad at me. They went and was like, we don't have no more questions. And when they went to the defense, they didn't even ask me shit. Mm -hmm. They was like, you got any questions? I was like, no, I'm straight. And that was it. But everybody not like that. Right. For sure, nigga tell me. Out of here. Back in this bitch, man. <laughs> <laughs> Just the Mills and Tay interview. Nah, I guess. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Back at it. As a CMB originator, you get to talk too. You know. So, how many siblings you got, bro? One. You got one? Big bro. Okay, so you the baby, basically. Yeah. Okay. All right. You so, know. you got little nieces, nephews, cousins. Yeah, I got a niece, my baby Marcia. Shout out Uncle Baby. Okay then. You know, she like five. She just turned five a couple months ago. Okay then. So I asked you earlier, like, about life on Claremont. You know what I'm saying? And you was telling me a little bit how it was, but give me some more detail on how it was, man. Like your upbringing, man. Like good times, bad times. You know what I'm saying? Stuff you seen that you could talk about. You know, we ain't gonna talk about everything. Yeah. Bad times, man, like, I'm um, clearing out, feel me? Like I said before, lights cut off, hot water turn cut and shit. The whole family in one house type shit, you feel me? It's damn near 25, 30 people living in one house type shit. Like, that type shit was just like, going through it for real, you know? Like, it was sa a sad moment for real, like, but time only time to tell and it got better through the time you feel me like mm -hmm. as time goes shit started getting better you know so some struggles you know what i'm saying but you had good times too you know yeah, what I'm saying? most definitely had good times right so you said your upbringing was pretty pretty good so you had the things you needed but not everything you wanted yeah. so like your parents did they like um they had good jobs, you know. Yeah. What I'm saying I don't know if you know how, like uh, economics that much. Like you think it was middle class, lower class. What you think your standing was? Middle class. Type middle shit, class. Okay. Know. They had, my mom and daddy had jobs. I said, you know. Okay. Good jobs. I got a roof over my head. I'm eating every day. You know. Yeah. Got clothes on my back. So you can't had to can't the, ask for nothing better. You the, know. The necessities. I feel yeah. you. You know what I'm saying? That's a good thing. Yeah. So we're gonna lighten it up a little bit. We're gonna ask you uh if you can collaborate with three artists to make one song, or two artists to make a song, you the third artist. What mm -hmm. two would it be? It'd be you talking about like from my, my like if city it's a song or just anyway. period. A song for you to be like your dream song if you had, let's say, let's just say a hundred thousand and it'd get you whoever you want it. So you can get two people for a hundred thousand to make the best song that you ever like your dream song, who would you pick? It'll be my nigga Polo G. Okay. And Dirt, Lil Dirt. 
All right. Polo G and Dirk for sure. We're gonna throw a bonus. Who's gonna make the beat? I mean, you got like hell of a, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 1 800. 1 800. 1 800. So you think 1 800 would be hard on the helm, Polo G, and uh, you said Dirk, right? Yeah, Dirk. You think that'll be sweet? You said who? John Boy. John Boy, yeah. With the beats, yeah. Yeah. So who your favorite artist besides yourself? Who you listening to? Polo G. Okay. And Dirk, like, really, like, them my favorite too like it'll be polo g first though then my nigga dirt you know okay so what made you start rapping made me start rapping i really like listening to music type shit and i see how <coughs> start watching older people videos and rapper videos and shit like that and it just looked fun type shit but one day my nigga wayne was just Bored. We was with him. All the kids said we was with him, and he was like, "Let's go to the studio, y'all." We went to the studio. Next thing you know, I came out with a whole song just in there playing. Came out, left the studio with a whole song. That intro just made a whole song type shit. Okay, so that was your first time. So big ups to Wayne, take you to the studio, and you got in there, and you've been in love with rap since, huh? Yeah, free my nigga Wayne too, man. So, Wayne. what rapper? Or mogul or whoever influences you like you like i ain't gonna say influence like that but like it make you think you can do something with the music polo g like okay really like motivational type shit like you feel me like polo g for sure just like seeing how he came up and everything yeah well, i watch interviews on shit like that it's him growing up documentaries and shit like that mm. like Polo G for sure. Motivational for me. All right. I'm going to take one more break. What up, though? We back with 10 milli. Gang. All right. So I'm going to ask all y'all a couple questions real quick. You know? That's right. So what's y'all all-time favorite shoe? Millie, we going to start with you. Favorite shoe would be... Jordan 11s. Which ones? All of them. Which one do you like in particular? The Cool Gray. The Cool Gray. Cool gray. Those was hard. Cool Gray 11s. You know, back in my day, people would get killed for those. Mm -hmm. For real though. Cool Gray 11s. All right. Murray. My shit, Air Force Ones, white ones. All white. All Classic. Crackheads. <laughs> <Jim Bezos. laughs> my shit, the Jordan 12s. Jordan, which ones? All of them. All of them. You got one in particular you like? I like the black. I like the black one. Okay. Okay. All right. What's your all time favorite movie? Favorite movie? Friday. Friday. First one? Yeah, the one with Smokey. That's goaded. That's goaded. That's the best movie. It okay. is, though. Mark. Funny as hell. So yeah, my shit might be like School Dance or something. Nah, I watch that shit all the time. Okay. That's pretty new though. I rock with it though. Mine is "Don't Be a Menace." I love that man. That's classic. That's classic. <laughs> That's crazy. I ain't never seen that before. Don't you be you trevor, bro. I swear to God. Do we <laughs> have a problem? Huh? <laughs> oh hell no. Nah, he missing out. <laughs> See, when somebody know a movie line, and you don't know it. You be feeling lost. That's crazy. I man. ain't never seen that before at all. I'm gonna ask y'all a deep question. I'm gonna start with you, Mill. If you were part of a beat. Which instrument would you be and why? The drum. The drum. The drum. Why? Just off the off the like bass. Yeah, off the bass type shit. You know, like the little it's hard to explain, like just the drum. Okay. You know. I so. feel you. Uh yeah. <clears throat> a piano because you know like a piano you can make a bass with that and you can sing and rap off that type shit it's bad. i swear to god he said the one i was about to say <laughs> but he got different reasons so you say piano too but why i like the way like you make the beat like you can make you ain't talking to the bike <laughs> i like the way you can make it like the beat okay so i'm gonna break it down for y'all deeper so you like the melody mm -hmm. and you like the drum but the drum is the rhythm because if you look at it this way like when you hear like the t -t 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 those hi-hats that's a drum when you hear that mm -mm, that's a snare or yeah. well, that's not a clap but it's a snare that's a drum you hear the bass that's a drum yeah and you like the piano because you can make it 
darker and higher. So you like the drama of the beat. So you like the drama of the beat. Yeah. All right. No. So you on social media, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what you on? Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, I got, Twitter. I got everything for I got Instagram, bitches meals underscore, Snapchat, bandman.meals, and Facebook, that's for my family type shit, you know. Old people, uncles and shit like that. Snapchat? Yeah, I got Snapchat. Snapchat is bandman.meals, but the Facebook for the old people, family and shit. You know? All right, we ain't gonna talk about Facebook. Mm-hmm. So What's your favorite social media platform now? Which gotta one you be, on the most? Got to be the gram. So what you like the gram? What you like about the gram that you don't like about nothing else like that? The gram, I mean, it's Instagram. Like you meet new people, like type shit, like, and that's where people promote their music at and stuff. Like it's just active, you know. Mm-hmm. Like you can get in touch with people, you know, find people you ain't seen in a minute, shit like that, you know. Like Instagram is just it's just it right now, basically. You know, it's just it's better. It's the way. Yeah. All right. Ask Mario about his social media. I ain't even gonna cap. Mine might be Instagram too. Okay. <laughs> exactly mm-hmm. what he said. What's your social media though? Uh Linwood Mari with two eyes. All right. So why you like why you like Instagram though? It's turned on the ground, no cap. Like okay. that's where everything posted. Fights, Detroit news, crime, and D, all that in there. All that. That's where you, that's where you get the information from. <laughs> that's that's right. where the whatever, you, go to. whatever you want to know, go on Instagram and do your thing. My TikTok, no weird shit, but like. Is, is but TikTok already, social media though? Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, okay. Yeah. But like, no weird shit though. Like, I don't really know. I used to be in love with Instagram, then I just stopped because that TikTok. I used to call it TikTok Lane. Now I'm the main person on it every day for it, like it three. Is lot, there's a lot of stuff on TikTok yeah. though. And I don't particularly like it, but it's cool. It, you can find some stuff on there though. Yeah, my Instagram name is no mass dot nay with a zero. I'm well, gonna drop your TikTok to get your TikTok <laughs> uh-uh. numbers up. Yeah, it ain't no, it ain't no TikToks on my page though. But so you just you just like watching TikTok. Yeah, but okay. my TikTok name is dot nay o two. Okay then. But I don't do Snapchat or nothing. I feel that. I do Facebook, but that's for the family, like he said. I feel it's that. For, it's for the old heads <laughs> and shit like that, you know. Right. Instagram the move, you know. Twerk. So what? So what's next for you, Millie? I'm calling you Millie, you know. Yeah. yeah. Look, it's what's next, man. Just about to turn up. That's all I want to do all summer. Album, deluxe, all that. So we got videos like coming. Yeah, most definitely. You know, we got video shoot, video shoot when we leave here. You know, yeah, I feel that. about to turn up is only right, man. Turn up for Big Bro. You know, keep his name alive. Just turn up. That's the word. You got to turn up. That's what it is. You don't get one life. You know. Yep. So time, time don't wait on nobody. I don't, I don't care what you say. Time don't wait. On oh, nothing at all. It's going to tick. That's no facts. Way. I was going to ask you if there's one thing you could say to uh, aspiring artists your age or younger, but you kind of just said it. So, you know, time yeah. don't wait for nobody. Time don't wait for nobody. But you got to trust the process, though. You know, like, it ain't going to happen overnight. Like, it, yeah. might, it might get fucking around and get lucky. It might happen overnight, but it ain't going to happen overnight, bro. People yeah. rap 10 years and finally get what they've been working for. You know, you got to just keep working. That's keep true. working. That's time true. don't wait on nobody at all. There's one thing that don't wait on nobody. It's time. That's Can't right. get your time back. You know. So all that's right. really what it is. Time. You got any shout outs? Anything else you want to say before you rap? Keep going. Just whoever rap, whatever you want to do in life, just keep going. To anybody watching this, whatever you want to do, no matter what it is, keep doing it. No matter how long it's going to take. Get frustrated, want to quit, keep doing it, bro. For real. Because I damn near thought about quitting. I'm like, hell no. You got to keep going. Like, it ain't it ain't going to happen overnight. Like I just said, you got to keep going. Keep grinding. Never stop. Keep going. Shout out my nigga Fat Boy. This is a little closing line. Never stop. Keep going, you know. Yeah. No. All right.
You want shout out to? Go ahead, let her yeah. shout out. Shout out my nigga Wayne, RDP. Yeah, yeah RDP shout out. Shit. Yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. Forget about my nigga Wayne, <laughs> Wayne man. Yeah. And shout out my uh my clothing business slash lip gloss business, Q's Angels. Q's Angels spell it for us. Just Q Q U E Q what? Q U E Angels with a S. All right. Come on with Gang, what you got to say, little bro? Shit, I ain't even gonna care. I just want to shout my mama, my daddy, auntie, my godmama, everybody who looked forward to me going up and wanted me to do better for them and for myself. I just want to shout them out. Like me, I ain't, I don't even like school, but I just graduated like two days ago, and she was so proud. I, Congratulations. My mama almost cried. Thank you. They all almost cried. Even my daddy. I was surprised he was crying. I was like, damn. <laughs> Made everybody happy. All right. All I can say is keep doing what y'all are doing. Yo, yo, you can accomplish your dreams by doing whatever you do. Just finish school. I ain't even the type of nigga that likes school, so I can't tell you to finish school. But yeah, You should at least finish high school. I ain't, I'm going to finish high school. Yeah. I'm trying to finish. Yeah. Yeah. You almost done. Exactly, it's your last year, nigga. Right. I got four more years. I'm just not going into high school. Buddy. Right, right. And let me ask you one more thing, cause this is gonna be the end. No. So this we gonna do the that was the end right there. But we are gonna do one more question. So I ain't asked you about the knot. So how'd you get the knot, bro? The knot. That's it. I was in a pool at a hotel. You was just in the pool. I, mean, I was like, look, this will happen. I was playing this shit just a normal day, having fun in the pool and shit in the hotel. And how old were you? Jumped in the pool. I was like, like fourteen. Okay. Like fourteen, fifteen. Jumped in the pool and just smacked my head on the bottom because it was like so, three feet. I was so on so you you just jumped in feet first or you dove? No, in? I like I dove in like I jumped and did that like. Okay. I was on some silly shit, and it was three feet. I was really on some dumb shit. I ain't know. Yeah, you could have died, bro. Yeah, I was. Because the signs of the pools, they don't dive. Eh? You know, kids don't pay attention to that shit. They be doing backflips, all kind of shit, man. Right. But I dove. You're really old enough to know better, though. Yeah, that was dumb, though. I regret that shit. I ain't gonna lie. That I don't know why I still there. Like you feel me? Like type shit like that, you put ice on it and it go away. That shit. So did you go to the doctor after it happened? No. Okay. My shit was swollen. It was bigger than this. I put ice on it, went down, and shit, just been there for three years. That's crazy, because I never went and got it checked you out. You think you should have got it checked out? Yeah. I'm going to go get it checked out eventually. Like, I'm tired of motherfuckers talking about it. <laughs> I've been trying to cover that bitch up the whole interview type shit, but. I hear you. Smack my shit on the pool, man, you know. I'm just saying, man, honestly, it is what it is, so you should embrace it. You see Rio out here doing numbers. Yeah, Rio. And that's on his face. Free face. Rio, man, Free me? Rio. A young boy, that nigga got dents in his forehead. Hey, but you know, he said he had a halo when he was a kid. Hey, what he say? He had a halo though. Stripes. He needs to go get two, three times. And he said he broke his neck when he was a kid or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dead, yeah so you know. I was trying to turn his neck. Back. Stuff happened, you know. what I'm saying once you once you get past it, then it don't matter what nobody's saying, bro. All right. You know, say you gotta look in the mirror, be comfortable with you, and you can get a check too. So you know. Yeah, but don't don't y'all don't be looking at my shit though, man. Mind your business, man. Yeah. <laughs> I try not to show it, though. I do. Hey, it's on your head, bro. I know. You <laughs> like, ain't wearing hats. You know what I'm saying? Know, like, when, when I post pictures on the gram, like, when I take pictures, if that bitch poking, I'm going to redo the picture. So you say like, you basically saying that's your good side, dude. That's your bad side. Yeah. Okay, like, but I don't really care, though. I, I mean, care, but I don't care. I think it would be harder probably on you, which is messed up, if you was a girl. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. 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 But so, then yeah. when I get my hair cut, my shit be poking more. I'd be sick. Coming off the barbershop, I know that bitch be poking, sun shining. My shit be poking for real. <laughs> I swear to God, that bitch be poking. Hey, man, shut the fuck up, bro. That bitch be poking, though, for sure. No cap. I don't know, man. I think it's more of you, though. You, I think you think about it more than somebody else thinking about it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Because a lot of people don't be noticing it, but a lot of motherfuckers they notice it. Close up. Oh, like yeah. them, like them, they they be playing too much and shit. Like, they be like, you want me to put another knot on your head? And shit like, that. <laughs> like, okay, okay. I feel that. You know? It look like Rocky. 
Roscoe Jenkins. Uh, <laughs> get the fuck out. <laughs> All right, man. Well, Gang. Thank, thanks for the interview, man. Yeah. We about to sign Shout out, Shout out TNP, man, behind the camera. That's right, man. TNP TV. That's right. Engineer, cameraman. You know. Producer. Producer. I rap sometimes. Oh, that. You know. Give me all my, give me all my flowers. Tap in with him. No. All right. Make it to the top with me. We had ten million on on the set today, y'all. Thanks for watching TMP TV. We out. <laughs>